Hello guys, welcome back to Mamun's reaction. Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are well and enjoying your life. So today we are going to react in another reaction video. Oh, hope you will enjoy this. So, so today we are going to react on Gallipoli campaign in 1915. So you all know, I don't know more, more about the Gallipoli campaign. Hope I will learn what lots of things from this reaction from this video. So guys uh, also let me know in the comment section more about this uh, area video. So guys let's start. If you are new in this channel please don't forget to subscribe and press bell button. So guys so react it. Gallipoli campaign. The Gallipoli campaign 1915 to 1916. Okay I, 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 19 as is already in this cabin in English language so I am choosing Turkish subtitle for you okay let's start again the war on the western front had fallen into a stalemate the allied powers fighting in Belgium and France were considering opening a new front in January 1915 Grand Duke Nicholas of Russia had appealed to Britain for assistance against the Ottoman Empire a member okay. of the Central like Powers which had invaded Empire. the Caucasus. A naval expedition was launched by the Allies to capture the Dardanelles Strait, a passage that connects the Aegean Sea to the Sea of Marmara in northwestern Turkey and beyond that to the Balkans. If they were successful in their goal, the Allies could link up supply routes with Russia and knock oh, the Ottoman Empire Russia. out okay. of the war. Furthermore, as First Lord of the Admiralty, Winston Churchill proposed opening another front would dilute the German forces as they supported the depleting Ottoman Turkish army. Wow. British Admiralty That's Winston good. Churchill pushed for a naval attack on the Dardanelles with a bombardment by British and French battleships on February the 19th, 1915, and resumed on the 25th because of bad weather. The Ottomans had placed mines in the route, and the minesweepers had failed to detect many of them. Oh my God. The British also sent Royal Marines ashore to sabotage Ottoman artillery. On March the 18th, Allied battleships entered the Straits. Fire from the Turks and undetected mines sank three of the ships and damaged three others. This naval assault could not work, because the Turkish guns needed to be silenced, and so did the minefields, which was impossible to do at the same time. Okay. The naval ships were also mainly obsolete warships, unsuitable for action. After this failed naval attack, a full-scale amphibious beach assault would begin on the Gallipoli Peninsula. General Ian Hamilton was commander and had assembled 77 ships and 75,000 men. However, he lacked specialist landing craft. Landing Under his land. command were okay. British forces, ANZAC, standing for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, and lastly, French troops. The landing started on April 25th. The Allies suffered heavy casualties, establishing the beachheads of Cape Helles and Anzac Cove on the Aegean coast. The Anzac forces had landed a little north of the intended landing site of Garba Tepe at a cove yeah. instead. The Garba Tepe landings would become known as the Anzac Cove landings in Anzac honor of the Australian landing, okay. and New Zealand troops who fought valiantly against the determined Ottoman Turkish defenders. After the landing, the Allies could not progress and strategic warfare quickly formed like it had done on the Western Front. The summer heat and the dysentery epidemic were unbearable and swarms of flies hung around corpses. Hamilton ordered an attack on Suvla Bay in August involving the landing of 63,000 Allied troops. They were to link up with Anzacs as Anzac Cove and break the stalemate. But indecision meant that the Ottoman Empire would reinforce the position and by August 10th, an attack led by Mustafa Kemal had captured Subala Bay. Wow, Allied that casualties that increased and bang. the stalemate continued. Reinforcements were lacking. It was time for evacuation. The order to evacuate the Allied troops was given on the 7th of December, with the last troops leaving Subala Bay and Anzac Cove before dawn on the 20th of December 1915. The last troops left Cape Helles on January the 9th, 1916 and the evacuation was a success with no casualties. The Gallipoli campaign was a disaster for the Allies, who suffered more than 250,000 casualties. Wow, While on the Ottoman this side, they also had an estimated 200. Wow, this is really crazy, guys. Who said all this crazy? 
Gallipoli has become a defining moment in the history of both Australia and New Zealand and has been recognized as their baptism of fire and a key event to their emergence as independent nations. In Turkey, the battle was seen as a significant event in the foundation of modern Turkey and a final victorious defense before the end of the Ottoman Empire. Wow. Watch our this is really crazy. Oh my god. Guys, this is very helpful and informative video for me. Uh, I love this video because mm, the video described from beginning to end and from the rise of the Atar Turk and he is again survivor of the Turks people. Uh, as said in this video that Atar Turk uh, fight uh, troops and uh, and victory big, great victory before for them so guys Atatürk was really great leader for the Turkish people I think Atatürk again coming and uh, will again come uh, from inside the uh, Turks uh, leaders inside the, the country so uh, I think uh, Turkish are really crazy and Gallipoli campaign was really great victory for them. So guys, uh, and as uh, uh, this video is very concise, I want to learn more about this uh, Gallipoli campaign 1915. So guys, let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know in the comment section about your feedback and uh, which video direction you want. So guys, see you soon. Allah Hafiz. Don't forget to subscribe.